Welcome to this week's Tango on the Psalms. Um, we're still looking at Psalm 23, um, different verse. I, and I hope and wonder if you did any tangles yourself on the 23rd Psalm. Um, the verse that we're going to look at and do a tangle on is, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Um, yes, yeah, so just to crack on with the lesson, um, if, if you have your template and you draw um, just around this, is four by four or five by five square. So if you draw that around that, um, and then what, what we what I hope to do is to show you that you can do the tangle um, just using um, pastel and a knife. We could go on and add acrylic, which first of all I <clears throat> intended to do, but I don't think we've got enough time. So I thought I'd just show you this picture of the valley of the shadow of death and I've done it all in pastel and used a knife, a scalpel knife. If you've got children or children are going to have a go, have something a bit sharp but perhaps not a scalpel knife. Um, yes, yeah, so this is um, a very meaningful um, passage of scripture, the 23rd Psalm. And David doesn't hold back on some of the um, things that he faced as a shepherd boy and found that the Lord was with him and helped him. So um, I'll just show you these two other pictures that I've done, which is that one. And I've written the text across here and down, down the valley. And again, it's another one. This one, I've used pastel and I've used gold, gold leaf. Um, so you can buy gold pe uh, acrylic paint. You could have a gold that. Um, you can um, buy uh, gold pastel, but I think it would be quite difficult to write with the gold. But I've... I've got, I have managed to buy a biro, a gold biro, but I don't think it would work in this oil. So you'll have to sort of try and find a way to do it. So my first part of this picture, I'm not going to do it with you now, but I will show that I, I drew my design, which is just like a valley. This looks in a sense like a river but I wanted to show the the blackness of this um the of the shadow of death so um the shadow of death doesn't only mean um death itself it can mean um very difficult circumstances and we all go through different valleys of experiences uh, we have the good times when we're out on the hills and like like with David, the first ones that um, I showed you. But this David's taking it right to um, to the heart to of death and the fear of death for, for most people have got a fear of death we want to live. But God here shows us, well, David here shows us that even though we do have these horrendous times in our lives, that God is with us. And um, so for this tangle, I've just used the crayon, just across here, the pastel, and added then the 
I've added the white pastel on top here of this. I've then used um, a pink, pinkish shade. Well, it could be any, you don't have to do it exactly yeah. like I've done it, but I've used the pink crayon across here. You don't have to do it carefully. Add white and it was a smudge. And then I've used um, green and blue here and the very dark black here. I've added some colour in, um, but I just wanted to show you how you can make marks with a knife. Just, just, I don't know if you can see, just with this scarf and knife into the crayon to take some out. And you can wipe it back in. So I'm just doing it as though it would be grass coming up. And maybe, you know, I don't know if you can see those marks, but you can make quite nice marks. And you could try um, with a scalpel knife writing in, um, even though I walk. Well, you, you don't have to put the full verse in. But if you want to, you could write, um, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me across the sky here. Um, but all fear not, for thou, for thou art with me. So if I just try for, it's quite hard, hard doing it upside down for, no, it's So you're scraping out the pastel, it's oil pastel. I think you'd have to, um, you'd have to use a fine brush and some paint um, to actually get the words down, down here. Um, yes, so that's as simple as it gets really. With oil pastel, I did a border, um, not not very carefully, but I did a border with black because it sort of finished it off, framed it. Um, if you would, did want to try um, try this one, you would you would still start with this preparation with the oil pastels, do it quite thickly, and then what I did, I used. Um, a very um, a, a wash of yellow. I used the three primary colours on this, so I washed over it with yellow first, let it dry, and then I used red, the second lighter, so second darkest, and the darkest. And after I did that, washed it all over, um, let it dry. I used the darkest colour, which was blue and um, let it dry um, so then when it was dry I used my scalpel knife again and scraped out the black uh, so that the black um, could be seen and then I added more black to it with the pastel and then I scraped out all these marks here making a pattern and the paint comes off quite easily because of the oil pastel underneath. Um, so I, I, I have written, like I said, across here, I used um, a dip in sort of gold ink across here and wrote the words across there, which I found very effective. Well, I hope you have a go of doing this tangle and remember that the Lord speaks to us. He is our shepherd and he tells us, don't be afraid. He so often tells us that. Don't be afraid because I am with you. Um, I hope you enjoy the tangle. I hope you have a go at home. All right. Thank you. Bye.